Good morning, good guys. How are you? How's everyone doing today? Can't wait for you guys to pop up. You guys, I love my day with you. Like, you guys are so cool. Like, seriously, you guys rock my world. You guys make doing these tutorials so fun. All right. I'm going to put on some Pandora real quick. How is everyone this morning? Good morning, Samantha. Hi, guys. Hot coffee is a commodity around here, so I'm going to take a few sips. Okay, so I'm going to start getting some products out. So excited. You guys, look at this trunk of makeup. It's ridiculous. I have a problem, Houston. Like, seriously. Okay, we're going to find all what we're going to use today. So today I am pretty excited because we are going to be doing some new stuff. I'm going to be showing you guys a new product that I haven't really given a formal introduction to yet. Um, it is our palette. Let me see. First of all, it is going to be our Behold Touch Powder. Okay, so we are going to, um, sorry, I like this music, but then it kind of is annoying too. Um, this Behold Touch Powder, we are going to be baking with this guy, okay? So I'm going to show you guys how to get a flawless Photoshop touch finish with the Behold Touch Powder. And we are going to, um, it's cutting in and out. Oh, I hope that your weather is better, Samantha. Um, we're going to be baking with that today, okay? And we're going to be working on a flawless finish. And then I'm going to be showing you guys palette number four too, okay? So here's this guy, palette number four. Super gorgeous kind of teals and golden colors if you guys can see them really well. Here's this guy. So we're going to be going over baking with Behold Powder today in palette number four. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to get started out with my rose water. Okay. That's getting easier every time I do it. <laughs> so we're going to get started out with that. I do a little rose water because one, it's super refreshing. Um, and it kind of tones your skin and helps balance all the hormones and stuff. So I like to do it um, and then do a little bit of royalty day cream before I get started here. So I'm going to put on a little bit of that guy while you guys are all coming on. Are you guys having a snowstorm there, Samantha, or a rainstorm? I wonder what the weather's like. I think she's in like western Michigan, so probably snow. <laughs> We, um, we've had an awesome weekend here. We did so much yard work over the weekend. That's why I wasn't really on here much. We did tons of yard work. We raked our yard, which is almost like as first time homebuyers, <laughs> we have almost a half an acre yard. So it was a lot of raking. We still got like some of it done, um, but still got about two thirds more to do. So we had nice weather over the weekend. Hi, Brianna. Good morning. How are you, girl? How's your little one? Congrats on your newborn. She is so sweet. Good morning, Kayla. How are you guys? So we are going to get half baked today, you guys, with our setting powder. So we're going to work on a flawless finish. We're going to get started first, though, with our Glorious Touch Primer. I'm kind of debating, like, doing a half face today to show you guys the difference. Let's see, I might zoom a little. To show you the difference between our flawless four and what happens when you bake and then you don't. So I think I might do that today. Something a little different. And do like we said and get half baked here. So there's our primer. I put this on to kind of get started and prep my skin. It's going to create a nice barrier between my skin and my makeup. So my skin is not going to be absorbing my primer. It's not going to be um, causing me to have extra oils on my skin. So... We're only going to do half a face today, and we're starting out with a flawless four. So we did the primer. Oh, yeah, eyeliner with the splurge cream. we got to get that going. And then next, we're going to do a little bit of foundation. So our foundation, you only need, like, five drops for your whole face. So I'm going to do, like, three since we're only doing half a face. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys the difference between this flawless four and why you guys need it. It is this month only, you guys, free liquid touch foundation with our kudos in the Flawless 4. So we're going to be doing some flawless coverage. 
this is our liquid touch foundation and then this liquid foundation brush actually comes with it so you guys this month um just so you know if you don't know already our flawless four is on sale it is brought back by popular demand it is something that we begged to come back um because we absolutely love it so in it comes the glorious primer the liquid foundation for free this really dense um super nice liquid foundation brush and our um concealer okay and this month only is foundation for free who doesn't love free stuff okay so if you guys can see already i did the primer i did my foundation i have a lot of natural pink undertones to my skin right it's not very even so this when i put on my foundation it just evens everything out and is already starting to give me that flawless finish that i want hi allison good morning how are you How's your little one? I hope that you guys are going to get out of the NICU soon. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of primer, or primer, a little bit of concealer, okay? So I'm getting that ready. But first, before I do that, I always like to put in my um, dimension first. So I like to do, where's it at? Looking for my browser here. Guys, I always lose stuff on camera with you. Oh, here it is. It's still in the bag. All right, we're going to do a little bit of bronzer this morning. We're going to add some dimension to our face before we bake it. Baking, right? Who likes baking without the oven? I do. So we are using, if you guys are just tuning in, we're using the Touch Behold setting powder today. We are going to bake our face into some flawless finish here. Okay, so when I do this, I always like to do the bronzer first, the concealer, and then kind of go in and then add those light tones. That's just me personally. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Abby. How are you guys? Okay, so we're adding a little bit of bronzer and dimension in here. And then let me see if I can find my blush. We're going to add a little bit of blush. We're going to be a little girly today. So my blush, I always put right above the bronzer, just like that. And I know it looks heavy right now, right? A little heavy. So you're going to grab a, um, a clean kind of fluffy brush and then go through and kind of blend. Blend out towards your hairline and then blend down on your cheek. Okay, so you're kind of blending that bronzer and blush together and then go underneath your chin and the side of your nose. And exciting news today, you guys. We have our luminizers coming out today. So I have mine ordered, the cream to um, powder one. This is our concealer we're putting on. Um, but they're coming out in like less than three hours, which they are so amazing. This gorgeous shine that you guys are going to get. Look at how much. I use the littlest bit, and I seriously, this stuff goes forever. Um, but they are so, so pretty, you guys. You guys need to see them. I made a post about them, so if you haven't checked them out, they're coming on. They are going to sell out, you guys. Like, they were already out beginning of March, and they sold out, like, super crazy. I look crazy right now. They sold out really crazy fast, and I'm going to be putting a bulk, a bulk order in for you ladies. So if you want to get in on that, let me know. I would love to get you in on the luminizers before they sell out so that you don't have to wait in kind of get in line because last time our setting powder came out which we're going to be going over today it literally broke the internet like didn't like people couldn't put orders in. <laughs> it sold out like in less than 48 hours it's crazy okay so we are only doing half a face today and my concealer was a little crazy so i'm going to pop a little bit more color back in there I'm telling you, our concealer, you guys, is no joke. If you guys have a any blemishes, rosacea, dark under the eye circles, um, message me because our concealer will cover it all. I mean, look at how much light I'm already adding to my face compared to this side right here. I mean, you guys can see I have a bunch of redness, rosiness, right? Do you guys see uneven skin tones, dark under the eye, mom circles? Like, this stuff is no joke. Our flawless four, you guys, look. Photoshop right okay now we're gonna bake so for you guys who don't know what baking is here we go I'm actually gonna use my contour brush um this is a chisel and paddle but we're gonna use the paddle side today 
So this is our Touch Behold powder. It is brand new, it's translucent, it's great for all skin types. And what you wanna do is you wanna apply a little bit on of this to your skin, okay? So it has this really great, see if you guys can see, this mesh kind of in it, right, where it kind of controls how much comes out. And then what you wanna do, I'm gonna, I love how it applies too. It kind of like bounces off of there a little bit. It's really nice. Um, so I'm gonna take this paddle and a little bit of this translucent powder and then what you do is you go ahead and you put it on the top of your cheeks here. Okay, and this is gonna give you guys that flawless, super flawless finish. So when you apply it at first and you're baking it on, okay, so kind of like special events or you have like a Photoshop, photo shoot, you're gonna like Photoshopped for your photo shoot. Um, you're gonna put it on and you wanna tap it into place. Okay, I'm kind of tapping, so put a little bit here up by your forehead, really do underneath the eyes. Okay, you're gonna do it kind of heavier. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna let it sit there like five to 10 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna do it while I'm doing my eye makeup. And while I'm waiting, you let your body heat kind of like cook it or bake it on your face, right? Kind of crazy. Um, and then it helps to like really set it in there. Yeah, this stuff is like addicting too. Like once you start putting it on, you're like, Oh yeah, <laughs> it looks like snow. It's it's not really, I mean, it is a little baby flying around, but it's not super crazy flying around. I think I'm just like going crazy putting it on. <laughs> I love it, I'm having so much fun. Okay, so when you put it on, put it on a little bit heavier like this. We're gonna let it bake on our face five to 10 minutes while we finish up this look. Um, and this is our Behold Translucent Setting Powder. And then we're going to wipe it off and we're going to get this just flawless finish, you guys. It's going to look fan damn tabulous. I'm excited. Okay. And then we're going to do a simple brow today. I did get this new brow palette, but I have to play with it a little bit more. Um, it's super, super amazing. It comes with your two brow shades, two highlighters, your wax, everything that you need. So I'm going to be posting a tutorial over that soon, but we're focusing on baking today. So. I'm gonna do a little bit of my brow gel to kind of comb them out and prep my brows. I feel like when I do the brow gel, it like, it combs them, it adds like a nice natural color, like if you guys aren't confident in doing a full on brow color. Um, and then I kind of like, especially this tail end part, get some kind of like ready, you know? I'm gonna do a brow pencil. And like I said, we're only doing half the face today because I want to show you guys the difference between our Flawless 4, which is on sale this month, you guys, free liquid touch foundation. Message me for your color match. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the difference in between a flawless face and some not-so-flawless coverage going on there. So you can see I have a lot of red undertones to my skin. And I love too, you guys, like our, our, um, what do I want to say? Our foundation, like it's not just based off of tone of your skin. We also color match it based on the undertones of your skin. So that's really important because not just all people have different tones of their skin, but they also have different undertones. So you're going to either have pink, neutral, or yellow undertones of your skin. And that is, um, really important because those for instance, mine, um, I normally use organza. I bumped up one color to velour for summer but mine is made to cover red tones in my skin so um that is really important okay so you guys see we got a one brow done look at the difference between brows oh my gosh i love brows the more i do them the more i love them okay and then we're gonna have fun so we are going to palette number four today i just got this guy i haven't used him yet but he is so fun lots of great teals and golden bronzy colors i love 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 this palette. So we are gonna, we're gonna go for the blue side today. Okay, we're gonna mix it up and do some blues here. Let me find all my brushes. All right, there we go. So you guys, my three brushes that I like to use is one gonna be this liner shader brush. So it has a great liner shader end on it. Um, it also has this great blending end on the other end. So that's one brush that I like to use. My next one is gonna be this, um, this kind of angled brush right here. And that's just great for applying powder and also kind of blending. And then I like to use a crease brush in case you guys didn't know. 
So those are the three that I tend to use for my makeup looks, um, and those are kind of my go-tos for sure. So I'm going to use kind of my deluxe end of the liner shader brush, and we're going to go in, and we are going to grab this color right here, Honest, and we're going to put it on our eyes here. So we're going to be creating kind of like a smoky teal look today. And I already have my primer on, so that is great. Primer is super important, you guys. I used to think that it was just for, like, show, right? Like, all these makeup artists just did primer just because, right? I mean, you think it's, like, not an essential step. Um, it totally is an essential step. So it's going to help your makeup colors to really show the same as in your palette as they do on your eye. It's going to help your eye um, shadow not to crease throughout the day to get your color to stay on. And um, it's just going to help for your face. It's going to fill in fine lines and wrinkles. It does so, so much, you guys. And it's going to help your makeup to stay on all day. So if you're having your makeup fall off by 2 p.m., it's probably because you're not using one quality makeup and two not a good primer. Okay. There we go. Where's my toilet paper? Okay. I guess I didn't bring it today. I'm just going to wipe it off. So... I did that honest color light blue across my lid and I'm bringing it up slightly into my brow. I'm going to kind of just where this line is here, just kind of blend it out. Okay, so honest, very simple across your lid and up into your brow a little bit kind of above the crease. Next, we are going to do cheerful. Cheerful, I'm going to grab my crease brush here. Make sure it's clean. Okay. And then for this crease brush, because it is kind of such a dense, um, stiffer brush, you really just want to barely tap. That's it. You can even blow it out. And you want to hold it at the end, you guys, okay? So you don't want to apply a lot of pressure right away to your brush, because then it's going to go on super dark. So you want to add in layer by layer. Okay, so we're going to go in. We're going to work on this corner and this V right here. So I'm kind of going back and forth a little. And this color, we're going to add a little bit more intensely um, than our other colors. This is going to be kind of our main V color. We're creating a smoky teal blue look. I haven't done this look before, you guys. I've just seen it, so we're kind of playing around today. That's what's the fun of makeup. If you guys are not trying new colors, if you're not trying new looks, you're not having fun. So... Do some new stuff. This is palette number four we're working with today. So I'm bringing it across in the crease. I'm bringing it up a little higher on this edge over here. Okay, because I'm creating a little bit more of this winged V look. Okay, just like that. Let's see. Might have been a little high. Ha. Okay. And then... Don't worry, I know it looks a little crazy right now. We're gonna go in next with this triumphant color. Okay, this is a matte navy blue. And then what we're gonna do, okay, I can't wait to blend. <laughs> I was gonna wait and blend at the end, but I have to blend while I'm, while I'm in it. Drives me nuts. So you can see I'm kinda just putting the colors where they need to be. Um, I'm not super crazy because you guys can always go back in and blend it out. Next, we're doing triumphant. Okay, that dark navy blue at the end here. I barely touched it. I'm gonna blow that out. We're gonna put this in on what's called our small V. Okay, so this is like not way up high like we did. This is gonna be right at the corner of the eye here. So I'm kind of really working this just on the corner of the eye. And this is gonna add a little bit of smoke to the eye look from what I'm told. <laughs> like I said, I haven't done this before. It's fun though. All right, that's looking good guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna blend that out again. Just gonna blend that over into my crease. Blend it a little bit over on my lid. And we're gonna come up here And the good thing about when you do primer too is that generally you can clean up your edges pretty well. 
Okay. There we go. What are you guys thinking so far? It's a little different, huh? Okay. And then next, we're going to go back with this crease brush right here. And we are going to do a little bit underneath. So I'm kind of wiping it out a little. I'm going back to that honest color. This kind of light tealish here. And we're going to go underneath and apply a little bit of smoke to our eye. So you guys can kind of look up. Go back and forth underneath these eyelashes here. Okay, and then kind of connect it to the corner of your eye. So that's honest. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit of cheerful to this medium color. And we're adding just a little bit of this. And we're going to do this more to like this outer corner part instead of under the whole eye. Okay. I think. Okay. And then next, I'm going to take my deluxe brush again, and we're going to add some light back into this eye look. Let me find my rose water here. There it is. Okay, so rose water you want to take just one spray of. This is going to make your pigments more intense, okay? So I'm going to go back to Honest right here, this guy, because he's a little bit of a shimmer, a little bit brighter color, and we're going to add some of him back into this eye look. So anytime that you can add a little bit of brightness and kind of shimmer over your pupil, it's gonna make your eye look just pop, okay? Just like that. So this is honest. Do you guys see the difference there? Super, super pretty, right? I'm gonna put a little in the corner. Okay, and then we are going to do a little bit of eyeliner here. We're gonna finish this look off. And I don't know if we're gonna get crazy on the eyeliner today, but we're just gonna do a little bit on this top lid. So I always like to do a little bit of liquid eyeliner um, right above my lashes. It doesn't have to be super thick, but it makes your eyelashes look a lot thicker. And it adds a little bit of a dramatic Kind of look. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna do some of our pencil eyeliner too. So this is our mood struck um, eyeliner. It is smudge proof and it goes on like butter. It is so smooth, you guys. I'm gonna show you once that dries because. I said that last video and I forgot to show you guys at the end. Um, but I'm going to apply a little bit underneath of here since we're going for a spokier look. How's that looking? I'm not a pro at eyeliner, you guys. I seriously do not do a lot of eyeliner underneath of my eyes. But it's something new we're trying. Okay. So applying a little bit here in this waterline area. We're going for a smoky teal. And then I am going to apply a little bit of mascara and we're going to finish this look off hopefully. I feel like I look so weird without mascara. Just does not tie the look in. Okay. Perfect. So we're just putting a little bit on top here. Click those first lashes. And I'm kind of, I always just use like a general mascara and I'll kind of do the, um, the base coat with that. And then I go into my 3D fiber lashes just because I'm so used to this mascara and I like it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, there is a car in my makeup box. Kids, I'm telling you. They're all over. Okay. Perfect. 
make sure I got the right ones. Okay. So I have my gel and my fibers. So I'm going to go through with my gel first. And you want to do it while this is kind of wet here. Let me see if I can get closer. So while your mascara is wet or you have your eyelashes wet, I always do a double coat of my base mascara. So you're going to go in and make sure everything is coated really, really well. Just like this. Okay. There's something on my bottom lashes there. Showing up in the video. It's not showing up on my face though. All right. Next, we're going to do some fibers. So I always like to roll the fibers on the back of my hand. And then while your lashes are wet, you're going to go up and hit the tops of those lashes just like this. And it's going to stick to that gel and it's going to add some length and volume to your lashes. Okay. And then we're going to coat it. I don't think I rolled that enough on my hand. We're going to coat our lashes again with the gel. And I actually need to get a new fiber lash mascara. This one I feel like is getting a little old on me. I've used it for a while, so I don't feel like I'm getting as good a result as I normally do. But... It's just because I'm pushing the envelope. <laughs> I need to get a new one. Okay. So you guys can see. How's it look? Okay. So those are kind of our 3D fiber lashes going into effect. Um, and this is a smoky look that we did with palette number four today. So I know it looks a little creepy because we did kind of half and half, right? And then what you want to do at, at the end is when you're done kind of baking with that setting powder, take your brush and just go ahead and dust it off. Okay. So can you guys see the creepy difference <laughs> between having a flawless face, right? Let's see, I'm going to blend this part right here. Having a flawless face going on and then no coverage at all. I mean, look at all that redness. Look at all that uneven skin tone, right? If you guys have rosacea, if you guys have um, cystic acne, if you guys have anything going on with your face, you guys can definitely get flawless coverage. There's nothing that our Flawless 4 cannot cover. Um, so love, love, love it. Thank you guys for tuning in to me today. Um, we will just apply a quick lip product real quick and then I'm going to finish up the other half of my face so I don't look so creepy. Um, we're going to do Lux today, okay? So Lux is kind of like our my favorite go-to nude gloss. So I'm going to show you guys. It's very soft, very pretty. Okay, so there is Lux. Okay, I hope that you guys like the look today. I hope that you like Smoky Eye Palette number four. It was definitely fun playing with that. Um, a little weird being half and half for sure. But I'm glad that you guys could tune in and I hope that you guys have a good morning. That was driving me nuts. Okay. Love you ladies. Have a great day. Bye guys.